So mirrors, when you said no mirrors, well, today I saw a beautiful mirror in the home stages group. It was a big round one. And I was like looking at that picture going, I wonder if we should put that in the magazine because that mirror is beautiful. I love how she made the rug, the, speaking of rugs, the rug had the circle pattern that matched the mirror above the fireplace. And then the, the furniture had such a cut angle, like it was such a good cut that it, was a good contrast to the circles and then the lamps were octan like little like rectangular kind of thing just even giving it that one more dimension one more depth and i loved that and i was so i'm like looking at it going should that go in the magazine and then you come up with no mirrors and i'm like what okay so i gave your opinion go ahead <laughs> well you need to be fair because i said most of the time no mirrors so i have very specific reasons why and it's because now well, this is what I explain to people when I'm consulting with them and we're walking through, okay? It's like, you know how you walk into the house and the door opens and the first thing you see is this mirror. Well, I look at a mirror as simply a frame around the reflection. The reflection becomes the art. So as a stager, I want it to showcase a beautiful view maybe out of a window or perhaps if it reflects like a beautiful architecture here we go oh, you should see some of the stairways we have here i mean scarlet o'hara would come down these staircases gorgeous but so i'm looking at that because that's the first impression and part of what i like to do is i like to use color to create an emotional connection with the house because that's what gets people wanting to buy the house so i look at a mirror and if it's not doing one of those two things it goes because i need that emotional connection now, also over a fireplace, when you put a mirror, so many times people will get a mirror and they will lean it on the mantle against the wall. And when you look at the reflection, what do you see? You see the fan and the popcorn ceiling. Who needs that? Don't want that. No, 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 no. So, and another thing, many times at the top of the stairs, there will be a mirror. And this is what I'm looking at too. When you're in there, there's the realtor and there's one or two um, potential home buyers in the house and you know what a couple of things happen they avoid the mirror because they don't want to think somebody else is thinking that they're looking at themselves in the mirror or they are looking at themselves in the mirror either way we lose them right so that's what i'm looking at however now this is what i said angela remember it's like uh, there's because i have this in my own home okay it's like the mirror is about this big and then the frame is about this deep and it's like, you know, beautiful metal work and everything. And it's this beautiful, I love those. I mean, I love those and those are absolutely gorgeous. But just a plain old run of the mill mirror on the wall, unless it's showing some money item or it's doing something big for us, I'm thinking no. And I know a lot of times people say, oh, it gives you more light in the room. Get a brighter light bulb because sometimes it's just <laughs> not doing it for us. So, but again, controversy, <coughs> right? Because Tori's shaking her head and Tracy, she's got her poker face on. Tracy, <laughs> which way do you go on this? Um, I use mirrors if they have the large frame. Mm -hmm. um, usually they're ha they have to be a circle. Uh, typically don't use rectangular mirrors unless it's over a dresser and then I'm putting something big and pretty in front of it. Um, but typically if I use a mirror, it has to hang, it can't lean, has to have a large frame, um, typically has to be round and you're right, it has to reflect something pretty. If I try to put it somewhere and I'm not getting a uh, reflection of something I want to see, it's gone. So I agree. You, you're, you are of my people then. I agree with you. I'm with Woo! you. I'm with you. How about you, Tori? Are you with the people? Are you, are you joining the tribe? <laughs> Partially, I guess. I <laughs> Yes, you, you need, your, your frame of the mirror should have something. I mean, even if your bathroom frame doesn't, you know, even if your bathroom mirror is mirrorless, go to mirrormate.com and get yourself a nice little frame around that mirrorless, I mean, that frameless mirror in your bathroom. So I definitely agree a good frame for your mirror does wonders. Um, I've done circle, I've done rectangle, you know, if they had a triangle mirror, maybe. <laughs> no, but I, I, I believe personally, I guess that's just because of the houses that I have to deal with. There's a lot um, of lighting issues, period, just in New York City apartments, in, in housing up here alone, um, where we don't have overhead lighting uh, built into these 
through these places. So we have to really pull from every light source possible. So I'm usually putting a mirror across from a window um, or in a hallway so I can actually, so we actually have a mirror uh, in our house, but it goes to a hallway so you can see like the lighter version of the hallway coming down So so you can kind of see both things so it makes it look bigger than it actually is so I use it strategically um, It needs to make the space look bigger and lighter So what I'm hearing from you guys all it's not about no mirrors or yes mirrors or no mirrors It's using the mirror properly and using it as a tool to give you light be a decorative piece, be a conversation piece, and showcase something beautiful, whether it be, and it really should be, the showcase something beautiful should be a feature of the home if you're staging. If you're decorating, it can be a show, it can be showcasing you know, your face or whatever. Um, you know, I found that over the years, I started getting, and this is just personally a living, I started getting rid of mirrors and I don't know if it's because I got older and didn't want to see as often <laughs> or what. But I also, um, but I also do, when I go into when I go into um, you know other people's homes or and I see a big beautiful mirror, I do appreciate them. Like I do, I, I remember thinking, "Oh, that's gorgeous." And and I've seen them in you know welcoming and when you first come in the house and stuff. I think that what I like, what I love about them is they're usually paired with something beautiful sitting on, on in front of them. Like I know Susie Purr and her house. As soon as you walk in, there's a mirror, and every time I go there, she's got this decorated differently. It has a different like whether it, whatever season it is it looks different i actually can't wait to see what she has there the next time i go to see what beautiful artwork she is putting on the on the table and and in front of that you know large piece it's it's kind of funny how i you know that you do that and it's somebody else's house right but again that's decorating more than staging so yeah, see, these are the discussions we have when no one's looking, right, ladies? <laughs> it's like, I mean, I tell you what, when people start talking, I mean, they're so adamant. It's like pro or con rug, pro, con mirrors. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> really, I just try to make try to make it work. But.